Hi there, Dead Eye Del Boy here, back with another action packed video, and yeah, hopefully, you'll enjoy this one today. There's one particular incident um, that happens, and I would really like your opinions on it. You'll know the incident when you see it when you're watching the video, so let me know what you think in the comments. I always try and reply to every single comment that's left, so yeah, let me know. Um, also, add me on PSN if you've not already answered, uh, added me. Um, it's always good to um, have uh, new people to check times against and stuff like that. So, yeah. Coming up on the channel as well, I'm hoping to do a little bit of a giveaway. I've got something I'm in mind that I'm planning on giving away. So, on the road to GT7, we've got about what, just over a week to go now. Um, so, I'm planning on doing something around about that time. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. Best way to do that is to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications, all that stuff. So, yeah, that should be uh, fun. A little bit of a way of me to show my appreciation to you guys. But without further ado, uh, you've heard me ramble on enough. Let's get on with the action. Now, as you can see from the starting grid, we are on our US account. Um, this was kind of afternoon time, this race. So, the mixture of uh, players on where a mixture between A plus A and B, so it was quite a mix, um, and we hadn't set a lap time, we just jumped on, we're going to see how the racing was, and uh, take it from there, so as you can see, from the start of the race, we've got the Filipino, um, just decided to, well, I don't really know what he did, just decided to almost drive off the track in a straight line, but there we go, and you can see here, we've managed to get through safely to the first chicane, so you can see up ahead already a little bit of carnage. We've got Stealth Killer there. Or Stealth Killing. It's like Steady Killing even. Um, committing Steady Suicide by the looks of it. Um, got some side to side action now going through the S's. Brazilian and the Audi taking a little bit wide there. So we're just going to hang back. we to go into that pack. It looks a bit dangerous so we'll sit back here see what happened. You can see that a Brazilian and Audi still going side to side with the BMW and he just slows down and then lets off the brake. I don't really know what he's doing. Maybe trying for a bit of revenge here but see what happens to us. Absolutely lost all concentration. I was watching that Audi um, just in the corner of my eye and completely missed the braking points and followed the Audi straight into the wall. So that was a big embarrassment. Somebody else dying there on the wall. So we've got a lot to do now as we set back off and we've got our friend the Filipino back in front of us again. So I've kind of turned this four lap race into a three lap race for me because I've made absolutely zero progress in that first lap. So we've got a lot to do here. Looking ahead though, the Filipino is going to give us a bit of a slipstream until he decides he's not and he's going to drive off to the right. Sure, what he was trying to achieve there, but he's back in front of us now. We'll head into this chicane. Very tricky, this chicane. You've got to get the brakes right, but if you get it right and you can get those left tyres hooked onto that curb and try and hook onto that curb there on the right, you can make some good progress through there. There's the Filipino in the RCZ picking up a half second penalty and running away. Does a sensible thing though and backs out in the inside there. And we're back behind steady killing for. Steady killing himself, steady suicide, maybe we should call. So we've seen he's a little bit erratic and we're going to just take it easy behind him, especially going through the S's. Don't want to get um, too close because some of the, like I said, some of these were B rated drivers in it, you know, a little bit slower, should we say. Let's see coming up into this. We managed to get up the inside and comfortably out break him and then we've got the BMW getting a little bit squirmy in front of us now we're going side by side here and I was just kind of praying he was going to back out because you do not want to go side by side through here leading up to the death chicane so that's kind of skimmed the wall on the right but managed to do the exit from the chicane of death and yeah we're making a little bit of progress now so we're up to P11 and we can see two or three cars ahead of us so not all is lost even though kind of just wasted the entire first lap for ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, silly mistake that we made and going into the wall. 
be the fastest GT3 car in the world on our left hand side there, the BMW Z4, the unbelievable straight line pace, we somehow managed to get past it, and yes that is a lot of sarcasm you can hear in my voice, that car is just awful, I'm not sure why anybody would want to choose it but just do their own. So, up to P10, and you can see now there's a penalty up ahead there, so could get involved here, but he's not even going to really let us take advantage of the penalty because he's just going to kind of kill himself before then. And you can see here the Porsche, I don't know what he tried to do there, I don't know if he tried to take me out once or twice because I drive in hood cam normally, so I didn't even see that happening, but it looked like a double takeout attempt. So, skipping forward, we're up to P8. And we're heading in uh, towards the end of the lap 3, getting into the last lap. We've got the run here on the, the Beetle, and now P7. So, considering where we were, um, starting from the back, um, killed herself in a wall, um, and basically two and a bit laps later, we're now up to P7. Kind of tells you that, you know, people are either dying a lot in this race or finding it very difficult. But what I would say about this track is it does make for good racing. It gets a lot of sort of rolling eyes emoji, you know, the rolling eyes emoji whenever it comes up because it comes up so frequently. And I think that's the thing people use to kind of bash it over the head. But it is a really fun track to drive and it does produce really, really good racing. A lot of fast straights, flowing corners, heavy braking zones, it's got everything you need a good race and we're going to try and up inside a buzz shocker buzz shocker producing an electrifying defensive move there get my coat but yeah so we'll come through the chicane of death for the last time can we survive it can everybody survive it surely there's a place for us here um, half a death there for buzz shocker um, yeah we've got a run on him so I'm hoping we can get moved on here we go a little fake to the left Move to the right, we're going to get the move done up the right hand side there, nicely done. Now, see up ahead, P4 and P5 kind of trading positions, and yes, that was cutting outside, cutting inside, and what a ghosting system that was, because I can tell you this, I shut my eyes when I was actually racing there, because I thought I was a dead man as he spun across me. But that was it, P5, so not too bad, considering, but we'll jump on to the main event. This was later on in the evening, I'd set a lap time, we're up against the big boys now, two of the fastest guys in the Americas region, Z28 and Eric GTR. Now these boys are quick and we've got Miles behind us, another very, very quick driver. So this was a kind of, I was looking forward to this one, kind of just to see what kind of pace I had. Um, you know, trying to live with the top split boys. Um, but I think, well, Z28 was actually streaming this race, so also that pressure as well as you can see all four of us make it through sort of looking for players there that I just uh, mentioned all making it through the first chicane um, Z28 and Eric though they're uh, flexing their, uh, their credentials on the, the Corvette see the battle through there but here's the first mistake I make you see I almost lose it coming out of that corner very easily you do you just get overly eager put the foot down you're coming off that curb very easy to lose it there. So through the S's you can see we've kind of already separated from the, the pack at the back and that's the thing about this race. If you can get through the first couple of corners as a group at the front clean, you can easily separate yourself as the mid-pack start to really battle with each other and lose a lot of time. But the four of us up front, we under I think we all understood that the first lap was all about getting clear don't do anything silly, don't make any dives, just make sure you stay in the pack. And you can see I just lose it over the curb there, you can see the car lifting him off. Again, the ghosting system did its job there because I ghosted out and at least Miles could make the run through me rather than just smashing into the back of me, which happens quite often. So that was, uh, yeah, a position lost, but we're still managing to hang on to Miles' slipstream, so it wasn't a, you know, it wasn't a catastrophe or the catastrophe that it could have been. Um, we still separated ourselves from the gap to P5. He's not in the slipstream. Um, basically, from Z28 through to we're all in each other's slipstream, so we're all staying together. 
can see we make it through nicely there and we actually got a good run on Miles coming up to um, this fast sweeping right hander which if you get it slightly wrong in the super you can basically completely lose the car over so just got to be a little bit careful again a little bit careful coming out of this corner you see Miles a little bit squirmy coming out there and we're right back on his tail now going through these S's so I'm kind of looking at Miles and thinking yep just you keep keep pace with Eric and I want to be in the slipstream I want to get um, I want to be sort of involved in the action right at the end of this race we're going to jump back on board now because you got a better I think you got a better sense of the speed and the way this track flows from the hood cam and this is the uh, point of view that I drive from so this is what I was seeing during the course of this race. You see we've set a pretty decent um, purple sector there, or 102.8 which is pretty good but I kind of undo all my good work there and again for the second chicane in a row I've made contact with the left hand barrier come out. I was really kind of struggling following um, a car through there so closely at such speed. You don't get a great field of view um, on hood cam as you're approaching the chicane of death just kind of almost guessing uh, where they are but we've lost the slipstream which is disappointing so I know now that I need to nail this lap to have any chance of being involved at the death when it comes to handing out the podium positions so we managed to hook nicely onto both curbs come through the chicane so that's sort of job part one of the job done there and I've got a little bit closer to the group in front but this is a very very crucial part here, you've got to get the braking point right, we manage to just get the acceleration nice and smooth and we do that, so we've again set the fastest lap of the race in the first sector and I'm wheeling them in ever so slowly I can see Eric and Z28 up ahead, they're starting to have a little bit of a battle as they're coming towards the, sort of the end of the race I suppose, a lap and a bit left, so they're kind of thinking you know, going for the win Miles is uh, stalking them nicely, but here we go into the braking zone, and this is absolutely nailed. You can see how much I managed to close up in the pack now. And we're going to see as we go through the second sector, I'm still purple, so I've still gone for the fastest lap of the race now. Can we finally get through the chicane of death unscathed? Just about as we skim the wall again in the left, but this time doesn't affect our speed. We only dropped a couple of miles an hour in terms of straight line speed and we well, we remain in the slipstream of miles and we take that corner really nicely look how much we close up there and now it's game on so final lap of the race Z28 he knows that it's uh, on the line now as he moves away over to the right trying to break the slip of Eric just a little bit give him a little bit more breathing room as we come in at the chicane Eric's thinking about a look up the inside you can see up ahead we're just kind of a spectator now, waiting to see if we can pick off any scraps as Eric and Z go see beside. Eric ma amazingly holds on there when he's almost off. But here we have a big incident here. Z goes wide, Eric takes a void in action, loses it completely, and that is a massive death for Eric. Now, you know, you feel sorry for somebody when it happens, but all of a sudden now, <laughs> we're in the podium position and we're well clear, so we're almost guaranteed a podium here. And look how close we are to the, the leader, the Z28. So Miles is now sensing, he's sniffing blood. He can sense a victory. He gets this right, he's going defensive here. If we're going to go into the breaking zone, I'm going to try and get some sort of a cutback here because Miles runs away. We get the cutback and we've got the run, but Miles just comes across as. And that was oh, a big moment in the race. Now, I was in two minds, did I do a stop, did I wait for him, but I didn't really feel like I'd done anything wrong because I was straightening my car up, I had given him all the room and he just kind of came across me and both cars, you know, it's kind of unavoidable contact and I did lay off the accelerator a little bit just to try and hopefully square him up and, and keep him on the track, but unfortunately it just didn't happen. Z comes across the line in P1, we're going to come across the line in P2. But yeah, I, I did apologise to Miles afterwards in the lobby and I said to him to go check the replay and, and we would see hopefully that there was nothing I could do and we'll check the replay now. You can see from the chase cam, it's one of the ones, anybody who drives that corner knows that if you put the foot down too quickly on it, you can lose it so easily and you know come right across the track. Um, 
worth just checking out. This is a hood cam point of view, and I'll, I'll slow this down for you just to see. Now here, you can see if we go into slow mo, how much he comes across there. Look at the position of Z's car. Look at the way it's facing. Look at the way I'm facing. Now it looked like he was going to square it up, but then the slide hat, you know, part two of the slide kicks in and he starts to come right across. Just look at my steering input. I'm steering hard to the right at this point. There's not a lot we can do. There, the front left of my car and the back right of his car make contact. It's the worst place you can contact a car, especially when they're losing grip like that. You know, I just want to slow this down because you can see how. I let off the accelerator, I try to back out as best I can to try and square him up and at one point I thought we'd maybe saved them but it just, you know, the momentum of the cars just, they'd come together, there was nothing I could do and by this point I'm just praying the ghosting system works because I'm about to, you know, have my race ruined as well but the ghost kicks in and yeah, there we have it, I did, like I said, I did apologise to Miles and Hopefully he did go back and check it and see that there was literally nothing I could do. He kind of lost it in front of us at very close range. One of these things. Racing incident. But a great race. P2 in the, you know, the top split up against a guy like Z28 and Eric GTR and Miles. So yeah, that was a fun one. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting the like button and subscribing. It all helps the channel massively. Appreciate it all. But yeah, I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.